Hey, I am Mandy here with my friend Stephen Mansfield, sitting on a pretty awesome green couch. <laughs> um, and Stephen, I have a couple questions for you. All right. Okay, first question: What is the best celebration that you've ever been a part of? Wow. The best celebration I've ever been a part of was my wedding party. My wife and I got married in a little private ceremony, and then we invited 500 friends to this big, rowdy, rock and roll, dancing food fest that went on almost all night. It by far was the best, best celebration I've been part of. Nice. Um, okay, so when have you personally felt the most celebrated? Personally felt the most celebrated? Um, Probably it was when I finished my doctorate and uh, all my friends just, you know, I think they were just tired of putting up with me in, in that studious, boring state. And so they had a he's back party and we danced and celebrated and yelled and screamed and ate too much. And that was, that was great. And they also took time to affirm me personally. We really, you know, you accomplished this and you overcame that and you're an idiot, but we love you, you know, kind of thing. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. That's pretty awesome. It was, it was a blast. And you're back. You're back at it. I'm back. I'm back in the land of the living yeah. and out of the stacks. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there something that you do every week to kind of help you feel more like yourself? Interesting. I, um, I am an introvert. And so having enough time alone where I'm not being offensive to wife and children and friends. And all, um, so hiking, uh, being on the racquetball court alone. Um, reading alone, that's where I reset. I, I need just a little bit of time, not, not weeks and weeks, but a little bit of time alone. And I manage that so I make sure that I get it in a way, like I say, that's not offensive. So um, recognizing my wiring, recognizing that reading, thinking, a little bit of list making, quiet, you know, hidden away somewhere, a few hours of that a week and I'm good. Nice. Yeah. Um, if you're going to celebrate something today, what would you celebrate? I was going to celebrate something today. Just yesterday, I finished writing a massive book project. So if I was going to celebrate today, I'd, I'd call together 50 of my best friends and we'd go to some awesome restaurant with you know great big stacks of food and we would just get rowdy. With guys, it's got to be food. With any guy who's worth the salt, it's got to be some serious dance, right? Hey, uh, that's I mean, impressive. I, I know you got to have some. You got to have some movement, um, and something's going to have to break and blow up and you know explode. But anyway, we'll have we'd have fun. Nice. That's what I'd celebrate right now. Awesome. What is what's your book project? Uh, I you know I can't give you the title because it's all contracted out. But but uh, this this was the hardest book I've ever had to write. And um, it just had to do with the topic and the timing in my life, and it's the downside of good things. I was uh, other good things, other things were going well while I was trying to write, you know. And writing is not a group activity, so you got to pull away from the crowd. And so it was, it was the hard to write. But finally, yesterday we turned it in and drop kicked it out the door. And so if I was going right. to celebrate, that's what I do today. Well, anxiously await the top secret. Everybody has to have one. Yeah. It's just, it's going to be a law. I'm going to lobby Congress yeah. to have a law that requires thing. the purchase of this book. Yeah.